Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screen, screencast and it reads that determine the force components acting on the ball and socket uh, at A, the reaction at the roller B, and the tension on the cord CD are needed for equilibrium of the quarter circular plate. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. So we have a quarter circular plate uh, and uh, we have uh, 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 point loads acting on the plate and we have been asked to determine uh, the force components acting on the ball uh, and socket at A, the roller at B, as well as the tension in the cord CD. Right. So first and foremost, uh, let's draw the free body diagram. So we expect at the, uh, at the, at, at the ball and socket uh, uh, at A, we expect a reaction in this direction that we're going to call uh, AZ and then a reaction in this direction that we are going to call AX and then the reaction in this direction that we are going to call AY. At the roller we only expect one reaction in this direction and we are going to call this one BZ. And we expect a tension force there, okay, we expect a tension force this direction that we are going to call CD. All right, that is if we did a section in there where I've drawn the green line. All right, so these are the reaction forces. Let me also draw component of uh, uh, the mapping of uh, the distance for 200 newtons, which is uh, this one here. I want to just draw its mapping on the Y and uh, on the X. So if I map to this, if I mapped this there, and if I did the same also mapped this. Oh no, I'm not drawing so well. If I mapped this there like so. So this distance here is the one I want to show. This distance here, uh, which is going to be something like this. All right, something, something like this. So this one is going to be equal to uh, the radius of uh, uh, this uh, quarter, quarter, quarter plate, uh, sec quarter circular plate, which is a uh, three, three cos uh, sixty. And we know that cos is a uh, one point. I mean, is is point five. Therefore, this just becomes equal to equal to one point five meters. And then this one here, this one here is going to be equal to this one here is going to be equal to three sine. 60. This one I'll leave it like this. I don't want to disturb it because I'll have decimals and I don't want to uh, disturb its accuracy. I'll leave it like this. Okay. If you're saying 60, you know, it's a number that keeps on repeating itself, right? I mean, not repeating, it does not end, right? What do we call those numbers? Irrational? Is that so? Okay, then let's move on. Uh, so, having done so, we are going to draw the, I mean, we are going to apply the equations of equilibrium. And this is a 3D system, so we expect um, uh, six equations of equilibrium, right? Three in translation x, y, and z, as well as moment in x, y, and z. So we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. So in the x direction, we don't have any force applied in that direction. Therefore, our ax is just going to be equal to zero uh, newtons. Right, and then we have a summation of forces in the y direction. Y direction, do we have any force in that direction? No, therefore, our ay is just going to be equal to zero. Then we have summation of forces in the z direction equal to zero. What do we have there? We have az. Okay, what else? We have bz. What else? We have um. 
uh, the forces that have been applied on the circular plate okay minus 350 they are pointing down okay they are pointing down therefore they are negative so minus 350 minus 200 and the minus 200 and uh, we have uh, a tension cd which is positive therefore plus cd uh, cd equal to zero great so uh, we have this uh, particular equation uh, that's az plus bz uh, uh, minus uh, 350 minus 200 minus 200 plus cd all right so uh, let's now apply the equations we can summarize this right let's write it as az plus bz plus cd and then when we sum up this 350 200 and 200 it gives us a 750 okay equal to zero right so now let's uh, go on applying the equations of equilibrium now the moments summation of moments about the x-axis so which one is the x-axis this one here right this one so we are looking at moments about that axis this line here this one okay all right there we go so what do we have about x-axis so we have uh, this 200 this one okay it's going to cause uh, it's going to cause uh, a negative uh, a moment, right? We are using the right hand thumb rule, okay? The right hand thumb rule, all right? So we are going to have a minus 200, okay, by the liver arm. And the liver arm for this one is a uh, 3 sine 60, all right? Then minus 200, this 200 here, 200 uh, by the liver arm, which is a 3. And then we have BY, this BY, I mean BZ, sorry, BZ. It's like BY is always in my vocabulary, you know. BZ, BZ, okay. <laughs> BZ, this one is positive. Uh, by three all right anything else mm -mm. so this is equal to zero therefore my bz gives me what does it give me minus 200 times 3 sine 60 minus 200 by 3 then divided by 3 all right so we have a 373.20508. So we can round off this one. So we will have uh, uh, a 373.21. Uh, okay. Newtons, right? Great. Then uh, summation of moments about the y axis. What do we have? About the y-axis, um, we do have this same 200, this one, okay, it's going to also cause a moment, in this case it's going to be positive using the right hand thumb room, so it's a 200 uh, by a 3 cos 60, okay, we said 3 cos 60 is just 1.5, right, because cos 60 is a 0.5, and then we have plus 350 uh, times uh, 350 times 2 the liver arm and then we have minus az az by 3 equal to 0 all right therefore our az is just going to be equal to we can do the calculation 200 by 1.5 plus 350 by 2 uh, divided by 3 so this is a 333.33 newtons correct so finally using this equation this one here okay let's calculate uh, CD since we already know what AZ is and BZ we can calculate CD which is the tension in the code CD so 
our CD, okay, our CD is going to be equal to, our CD will be equal to, uh, what is our AZ? Our AZ, we said, is 333.33, uh, plus what's BZ? BZ is 373.21, and then minus 715. So we get CD equal to a 43.46 newtons. Right. So we have BZ, okay, equal to, okay, let me just write down the summary of the solutions since they are scattered in all directions. So we have uh, AX equal to zero newtons. We have AY equal to zero newtons. Uh, we have AZ equal to 333.33 newtons. And then we have uh, BZ equal to uh 373.21 newtons and then we have cd which is the tension in the code cd which is equal to 43.46 newtons right so this is basically a summary of uh, the solution for this particular problem i hope the video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up like my video uh, and continue subscribing and commenting. Bye-bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.